what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel guys this is the second time recording this video because yes i recorded the first one without any audio so i'd really appreciate if you did me a favor and gave me a smash on that like button now in today's video guys i have a penny stock to show you that could literally be a very large contributor to the entire ev revolution now we have talked about it on the channel before and i will say it again when investing into the ev sector i personally think it is very important to be diversified there's many moving parts in this growing demand for electric vehicles and us as investors need to make sure and capitalize on every different category. So of course we have traditional EV manufacturers like Tesla and Neo that I personally invest in. We also have battery companies like Lithium but there are also some other moving parts to the system that we are going to talk about in today's video. So today we are going to be talking about a uranium company and this is Uranium Energy Corp. They are under the ticker symbol UEC. Now if you look at their stock chart it literally looks like the s p 500 chart over the last year as you can see this company just seems to keep going up and up and up of course it has its pullbacks like every other investment but it continues to reach new highs and i think this is extremely important and looking at this current chart here we can see that it's actually having a pullback lately so if history is going to repeat itself we could see some new highs in that three dollar range or higher for this company now, we are also talking about a stock here that is very highly rated by analysts. If we jump over to tip ranks here, we can see that analysts give a price target of almost $5 a share for this company, which is a 50% increase that analysts are expecting over the next 12 months. And me personally, I think this stock could hit upwards of $10 per share in the next few years as we continue to see this EV boom that I really think is just getting started. Now, to make sure you guys are well informed, this video has been brought to you by Uranium Energy Corp and I thank them for that as I've been looking for a company that is a solid long-term uranium play. As always guys, I am just simply going to bring you the straight facts and that is going to be your job to let me know in the comments what you think about this company and if you think it is a good investment for the long term. But I do want to start with the company overview, then we will go into the EV boom and how and will this will create a massive value for uranium companies in the future and finally we will go deeper into these analyst price targets i want to show you guys how important these analysts are and how successful they have been with their price targets for this specific company over time so jumping into it here let's start with the company so uranium energy corp is a u.s based uranium mining and exploration company the company controls one of the largest databases of historic uranium exploration and development in the entire country and actually as you can see here as far as mining projects go in the US, the company has focused its property acquisition program primarily in the southeastern US states of Texas, Wyoming, New Mexico, Arizona, and Colorado. The region has historically been the most concentrated area for uranium mining in the United States. So if history says anything, this company could be very successful in these sites that they have to be able to be mined. And if we scroll down, we can see that it says this company is well positioned to capitalize on the world's overwhelming demand for more uranium, for more energy, for cheaper energy, and for a cleaner environment. And guys, these are exactly the investments that as investors, we should be looking for. We are looking for these companies that are in breakthrough industries that will be successful in the future. As Kathy Wood says, we need to look for stocks in disruptive industries. And I truly believe this company is in a disruptive industry as I do believe the EV industry is just getting started. So moving on though, let's talk about how this actually relates to electric vehicles. Now, when we talk about electric vehicles, there's absolutely no question to me and probably shouldn't be to you either. Consumers are catching on and pursuing this idea for electric vehicles. I personally think that there is almost no question that a fully electric vehicle society is the future and that is why us as investors have to capitalize off of this opportunity. We have heard estimates from GM that they want to sell all electric vehicles by 2030 or even sooner. And guys, progress is going to continue to be made year after year to reach that goal. Obviously, it is not going to all happen at once. So people 
understand lithium. They understand these Neo, Tesla, mainstream EV manufacturers. But I don't think people actually understand the value of uranium for electric vehicle charging. So at the moment, the source of power driving your battery is likely still to be a coal power station. Renewables will be an excellent positive contributor to total power generation, but you still need those base loads. And uranium has the possibility to be that clean energy source. And so as you can see, we're going to reiterate that once again in the next article here. So we can see now this is more related to nuclear energy, but we can see that it is clear that EV cars will have a huge impact on battery metals, but not many investors realize the impact they will have on demand for uranium. And I think this is 100% true as I am still personally learning about uranium and is a newer subject to me. But electric vehicles will be charged from mains powers around the clock, which will dramatically increase power demand from the electricity grid in the coming years. Now, nuclear power is expected to play a crucial role in fulfilling that demand as the world goes searching for reliable low carbon electricity. Actually, one British analyst says here that in the next decades, we are going to need previously unthinkable amounts of new levels of low carbon electricity capacity for charging all of these electric vehicles on the road. And guys, let me ask you a question. What do you think is the fuel most widely used in nuclear power plants? That is right, it is uranium. And so really, in my opinion, I truly think it is almost a guarantee that uranium companies will be a massive contributor to the entire EV sector especially as this current administration and even beyond that continues to push clean energy harder and harder. We are going to need reliable low carbon electricity. Now, of course, there is no saying whatsoever that this company will end up being the one that is successful in the industry. They do have downfalls and we are going to go over that last. But the point is the opportunity in the industry is there. For me, as an investor, I search for the industries first. I search for industries that have the most opportunity in the future. Then from there, I break it down into specific companies that I do think can succeed in those specific industries. And if we jump back into the chart here, I personally think that Uranium Energy Corp will be a successful one in the long term. As we can see, they are just a steady grower. This is no pump and dump stock whatsoever. This is a company that grows consistently over time. And as you can see, has pretty high price targets from multiple Wall Street analysts. Now, I want to show you guys exactly how successful those predictions have been, as I think that is a very important part. And if we jump over to tip ranks here, we can see that both of these analysts are five star analysts. But how successful have they been on those specific buy ratings on these specific stocks? So if we jump into the first analyst here, we can see that all of these buy ratings he has made on this stock over time. And we can see he has a success rate on this stock of 12 out of 13 ratings being profitable. That is a 92% rate. That is absolutely ridiculous and is really, really high. And as we can see further detail over here, every single time he made a buy rating on this stock, he has an average profit of 129%. That is absolutely massive. Every time he called a buy on this stock, his average is 129%. And guys, if we take a look here, we can see that he just made a buy rating on April 15th. So definitely not too long ago. And so if we do the math and we take this 130%, say he is averagely successful once again at 130% profit from this buy rating. That would take this to be about a $6.45 stock within the next 12 months. Now, obviously his price target is a little more conservative as he put a price target of $5 per share. But I think this stock can hit even higher. And if his average profit on this stock stays true, it can definitely hit a lot higher than $5 per share. Now, if we jump back, we can take a look at the second analyst as well. And if we scroll down and we click on UEC, we can see all of the different buy ratings that she has made as well. So she has made four buy ratings on this stock and three out of four of them have been successful, which is a 75% success rate. Obviously, extremely successful as well. Now, her average profit on this stock is nowhere near 129% like the last analyst, but nevertheless, 73% is still absolutely insane and is a massive return. Once again, if she would hit this average return, we could see this stock shoot well past $5 per share in the next 12 months. 
So as you guys can probably see, all of this looks pretty good, of course, and the price targets are extremely high and impressive for this company. And if we jump over, we can also see that this company has an extremely impressive management team. They almost every single one of them have over 30 plus years of experience. We can see 35 years, 35 years, 30 years, 35 years. And actually Spencer here served as a US Senator and was previously the Secretary of Energy from 2001 to 2005. And the CEO was actually an entrepreneur. He founded UEC and actually founded another gold mining company that he is still the chairman. So as you can see, all of these guys have very impressive resumes and they all relate entirely to this industry. Now, every company does come with its downfalls and this company still does have downfalls. And one major downfall, probably one of the only ones that I see is that they still have zero revenue. Now, that is where the risk comes in. When you invest into companies at or before they they start producing revenue, it is obviously the most risky time to invest in that company. But at the same time, you have to understand with that risk comes a chance for a very high reward. If this company was already established and bringing in tens of millions of dollars of revenue every single year, do you think that this company would still be a $2 stock? Probably not, so definitely just keep that in mind before you even consider investing into this company. That is where the major risk comes in and you guys really have to ask yourself, do you think that UEC will be successful in the long term? And that will answer the question if you should invest in this company or not. But guys, I really want to hear from you guys. I really want to know your opinion, what you think about the entire uranium industry. Do you think it will be successful in the long term, especially as we relate that to the EV sector? Or do you think this is a sector that you would personally stay away from? And then let me know specifically because it is your job to let me know what you think about UEC. Do you think that this company will specifically continue to head on this trajectory? And do you think it will be up another 160% over the next 12 months like it has been over the last year? Definitely let me know your thoughts, guys. I want to hear all of your thoughts and I will be sure to answer all of your comments. With that said, I appreciate all of you. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And guys, as always, I really hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one.